How do you practice EFT when you're in public? So this is a big question that comes up and in this video I'm going to share with you five simple techniques that you can use right away whenever you're in a public space or around other people that may not understand EFT or you know you kind of don't want to make yourself feel uncomfortable or even them to feel uncomfortable because if you start tapping on yourself and saying things like it's okay to feel this way you know it just doesn't feel appropriate so these little techniques I've picked up I use them on myself also I've learned them from clients you know there's always uh, new input you know people experimenting with EFT so here's five The first one is just the chest tap. So, you know, I just spread my fingers out and I tap all over the chest. Right. So in my experience, my belief is that this chest area is one of the most powerful points on the body. Reason being is that the heart's in there, the lungs are in there, the thymus glands in there, the thyroid glands in there. And, you know, the, the main meridians, like the kidney meridian, all these things are actually going through the chest area. So just by thumping on the chest area, you're creating a huge uh, physiological change, right? And so sometimes this is good enough. You just tap on the chest. And sure, it's a little bit weird, right, in public, just start tapping your chest. But it's not that weird for people to, like, stop and like ask you questions it's more like oh that's weird but they just continue it doesn't matter i do it all the time in public and i've never been questioned it's it's no it's not a big deal so an example of using this would be like in a plane i've used it many times you know like if the takeoff is jumpy or there's lots of turbulence i sort of sit back i tap and breathe And I've also used this, like, if someone's having a panic attack, for example, instead of going through the whole, like, EFT thing, and they can't really focus, they can't really do anything like that. But I ask for permission, you know, to, to tap on them, and I just tap on the chest. And it helps significantly. So that's number one, is just chest tapping, right? Number two tip is fingertip tapping. So the meridians come through and out through the fingers. And you can just simply tap on the side of the fingertips where the nail meets the skin, I describe it as. And you just move from one finger to the next. All right. And I used to think, oh, is it on this side of the finger? Is it on this side of the finger? And basically, I've concluded it doesn't really matter. There's still a signal going through. You're still thumping the finger. It's still sending a vibration through. Uh, you will also notice that when you tap on the, between the finger and the uh, the fingernail and the skin, there's a little bit of a zing feeling. And that's ideal, is that zing feeling. Right? So you could just do this in public. It's not, again, it's a little bit weird, but not weird enough to, you know, make people stop. So you could just tap fingers like this. You can put them in your lap and tap, and no one really knows what you're doing. Right? And I like doing both hands. It feels really nice. And... This is also a very powerful practice in itself that you could do any time. Mm, it feels really nice. Okay. Um, some people actually can do like one finger, like one on the same hand they're tapping. This way I'm trying to work it out. There it is. So after a while, if you practice this, you'll get good at it. But some people just tap with their same hand. Whatever works for you. All right. Good. So that's fingertip tapping. Uh, the third one uh, is called press and hold. So I don't really use this one this much, but some people do, is you can just still touch the points and just breathe. Like chest points. Yeah. Yeah. Just whatever works for you. So press and hold, that one's called. Number four, you can actually imagine it. So you can actually, you know, I think closing your eyes helps, but you can actually imagine tapping yourself on the points. After you've been practicing EFT for a while, it's quite easy to imagine this to be true. Right? 
So you could tap on, you know, imagine here, imagine here, imagine here, and breathe, All right? So some people like doing that. However, you know, if you're in the middle of a strong emotion, it may be hard to focus. So that's probably the only weakness in that one. Um, but the visualization still delivers a kick into the nervous system. So it still works, right? And the number five is more like just using words that are in the process. So one of the, one of the terms or the phrases I use a lot is, even though I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling all this anxiety, that's okay. It's okay to feel this way and it's okay to take a breath and let some of this tension go, right? So I just kind of talk myself through it, right? And it does the same, a very similar effect, particularly with those phrases, it's okay to feel this way. Because that's what's usually causing the anxiety to get worse is that there's an inner resistance, like you, you feel anxious or you feel out of, you know, overwhelmed. And then we're trying not to feel that, right? So that's what causes more stress. <laughs> so instead of doing that, you just go, oh, wow, I'm feeling really anxious. It's okay. It's okay to feel this way. And it's okay to take another breath. So always using the breath as support. Um, and that's more like a talking method, right? And that's basically, that's the five. And I'll just do a quick review. The first one is just chest, tapping the chest. That's good enough. The second one is tapping the fingertips. That's good enough too. Number three is press and hold. So hold the points as you go through. The next one is to imagine tapping the points. So closing the eyes probably helps with that one. And the last one is just to talk yourself through it. It's okay to feel this way. It's okay to take a breath, right? And that's basically it. So let me know in the comments below if that was helpful or if you've got any other suggestions and let me know and uh, have fun.